Yes, your daughter on Sunday wrote a moving column, uh, wrote movingly about this situation, referring to you. How did you come to read it? Somebody said, you've got to read that column. So I read it. Uh, you don't get the Straits Times? Um, I get it online, actually. Oh. oh. Yeah, I certainly do. I follow Singapore online. Uh -huh. And she wrote that the whole family suffers, of course, from yes, this. Of and course. she wrote the one who's been hurting the most and is yet carrying on, carrying on stoically is my father. What to do? What else can you do? You can't break down. You can, life has got to go on. I try to busy myself. But from time to time, in the idle moments, my mind goes back to the happy days we were together. When, when you go to visit her, is that a time when, when your mind goes back? No, not only that. I mean, my daughters fished out old photographs uh, for this piece that she was writing. And so she picked out about a dozen, two dozen photographs from the digital copies which somebody had kept in uh, Singapore Press Holdings. And uh, when I look at them, I say how lucky I was. I had 61 years of uh, happiness. Yeah. I mean, we got to go sometime. Uh, so, I'm not sure who's going first, whether she or me. Mm -hmm. So I told her, uh, I've been looking at looking at the marriage vows of the Christians. So I said, the, the best I read was to love, to hold, and to cherish in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, till death do us part. So I told her, I try and keep, a, keep you company for as long as I can. That's life. She understood. <laughs>